Today we're going to go over vacation by looking at an it was created from lard and sodium hydroxide. This experiment, lard, which is a triglyceride, was hydrolyzed to create soap, which is basically the salt of fatty acids in the glyceride. We begin with an introduction of important things to know prior to this experiment. Soap is typically produced by saponification of a triglyceride, which is basic fat or oil. Saponification involves the hydrolysis of an ester to form an alcohol, the salt of a carboxylic acid. Hydrolysis is the decomposition of a chemical compound by reacting it with water. This saponification process, the triglyceride, which is a fat or oil, or in this case lard, is reacted with a strong base. In this experiment, we use sodium hydroxide. This reaction of the triglyceride with a strong base produces glycerol and fatty acid salts. The salt of the fatty acid is called soap. Fatty acids are straight chain monocarboxylic acids. They usually range in size from 10 to 20 carbons and most often have an even number of carbon atoms including the carboxyl group carbon. Fatty acids are rarely found as free molecules in nature but are most often part of a larger molecule called a triglyceride. Triglycerides consist of a three member chain called the glycerol backbone coupled with the fatty acid bonded to each of the three carbon atoms in the glycerol backbone. The bond between the fatty acid and the glycerol backbone is referred to as an ester linkage. In the saponification process, the ester linkage is broken to form the glycerol and soap. Now we are going to go over the mechanism of the reaction. Here we see the overall reaction of the experiment. A triglyceride and a base react to form glycerol and a fatty acid salt. How exactly does this happen though? We shall see in the multi-step mechanism. In the first step, the hydroxide nucleophile attacks the electrophilic carbon of the ester, which is the carbon double bonded to the oxygen. This breaks the pi bond and creates the tetrahedral intermediate. In the second step, water protonates the molecule and a bond forms between the oxygen and the hydrogen. In the third step, hydroxide takes up a hydrogen, forming water. The carbon-oxygen double bond reforms. The electrons in the carbon-oxygen single bond form with oxygen, creating an anion. This results, to separa results in the separation of the glycerol backbone into an alkoxide, separate from the fatty acid. The fourth step, an acid-base reaction occurs. The base, the alkoxide, deprotonates the fatty acid and turns it into an anion. Glycerol, which is one of the products of the overall reaction, forms. Fifth step, an anion reacts with sodium to form three fatty acid salts, which is the soap. Here we see the overall reaction again. The triglyceride reacts with the base, sodium hydroxide, and forms a glycerol and three fatty acid salts.